Hi, and welcome to chord tutorial number 62. The guitar is tuned standard, E, A, D, G, B, E, and there's no capo. Our first chord for this tutorial is D minor 7. We're just doing a D minor 7 up at the 5th fret. We're treating it like we would a D form, a regular D major form. And we're going to slide that up to the 5th fret. Pretty easy. We've got our middle finger on the high E string at the 5th fret. First finger goes to the G string at the 5th fret. And the ring finger goes to the B string at the 6th fret. And that's strummed from the D string. It's a nice D sound. Now you can strum it also from the A string to make it deeper. But that's D minor 7. Now we're going to take that same chord and raise it a whole step to the 7th fret. And if we strum that from the D string, we get a G chord. That's Okay, this is a regular G down here at the 5th fret. And this is G up at the 7th fret. Okay, that's our G chord. For the next chord, we're going to go up to the 12th fret for G6. Okay, we're holding down the D string and everything below it, just barring that. And that's a G6. Listen to our G chord. And G6. Right? Now we're going to move down a whole step to the 10th fret and do the same thing and we get a D minor 7, believe it or not. Okay, and we did our other D minor 7 like this. Okay, so we've got D minor 7 at the 10th fret. Our next chord is a textbook F. First fret, we're holding down the B string and the high E string. Bring in the middle finger to the G string, the second fret, and your ring finger to the D string, third fret. That's our F chord, F major. We're going to raise that a whole step to the third fret, and we get a G major. Now we're strumming these chords from the D string to keep them pure, and we're not playing the E and the A strings, okay? So we're strumming from the D string. That's our F. Raise it a whole step. We've got a G, and that's G major. All right, that's it for this set of chords. That's chord tutorial number 62. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.